Mitter.com is today talking to Harold D'Souza. You all must have heard about the book Uncle Tom's Cabin, which gave us you know, the, the real story of slavery. We all have read and heard about slavery. We think it's a history, but it's not. Harold D'Souza was someone who was a victim of human trafficking. In the US, he suffered so much that when you hear his story, I'm sure you will have sleepless nights. But today he is working in the White House. He has received amazing awards from the US government. And very soon we are going to see his story on silver screen. So let's meet Harold D'Souza and know the do's and don'ts of living your American dream. First of all, I would say Namaste. Vande Mataram, my Bharat Mitra Vasiyo ko. सबसे पहले तो मुझे भी बुक में पढ़ा था मैंने लाइक मानव तस्करी या स्लेवरी लेबर ट्राफिकिंग और मैं सोचता था बाबा जना में जमाने में होता था करके तो मुझे कुछ पता नहीं था लेकिन मैं अमेरिका 2003 में गया मीन आई वाज इनवाइटेड या ऑन एच वन बी वीज़ा विच इज़ अ वर्क वीज़ा एज अ बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट मैनेजर सो सी आई आई वेंट लीगली ऑन अ सेवेंटी डॉलर सैलरी पर ईयर प्लस बेनिफिट्स इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड थ्री It was a lot of money. So traffickers or perpetrators, they are very smart. They understand the mind psychology of all the victims. So he invited me on an H-1B visa as a business development manager on a seventy-five thousand dollar salary. But it was all pre-planned by him. I was manipulated, tricked, and trapped. I went on four things to the United States of America. I went. on a trust i went on a promise you know i went on a commitment and i went to live my american dream but little did i know the day i landed in 2003 you know we were made to work in a restaurant so it is a long story this is just the tip of the iceberg and i myself didn't know that i am a victim of labor trafficking see i was not aware i didn't know the culture i didn't know the people i didn't know the law enforcement agency i am from gujarat right i was born in vadodara so gujarat ma kavach che You know, like America, Jew, eh? So it is like going to Swarg. <laughs> you know, like paradise or heaven. So I grew up as a child listening to that. So I was so excited. Oh, I'm going to the United States of America. That's heaven. That's paradise. So people were celebrating here, and I was also super excited because we saw the United States of America in the newspapers, in the TV, in the magazines. You know, so we were so hyped. Wow, America, the most powerful country in the world. के जो मेरा ट्राफिकर था ही हैज़ बिन शॉपिंग ये लोग इधर शॉपिंग कर रहे थे इंडिया में तो मैं बकरा बन गया राइट एंड उसने काफ़ी लोग को लेकर गया तो आई आई वेंट ओदर एंड देन आई वाज वर्किंग इन अ रेस्टोरेंट हम लोग को रेस्टोरेंट में काम कराया राइट मेरा वाइफ वाज नॉट टू वर्क शी वाज नॉट सपोज टू वर्क लीगली माई वाइफ वॉज ऑन एन एच फोर डिपेंडेंट वीज़ा सो यू नो सो बिकॉज एंड आई वॉज ऑन एन एच वन बी विच इज़ अ वर्क वीज़ा राइट एंड ही फिक्सड माई वाइफ सैलरी टू थाउजेंड डॉलर्स अ मंथ बोलते वो यू गोट टू किड्स मेरे दो बच्चे थे चार साल के और सात साल के वो तेरे को घर खरीदने का है ना यू नीड मनी सो वी डिन नो एनी थिंग राइट सी लेबर ट्राफिकिंग इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका हैपन्स एट फोर प्लेसेस रेस्टोरेंट्स गैस स्टेशन कन्वीनियंस स्टोर्स मोटेल्स एंड मेनी अदर प्लेसेज लाइक मसाज पार्लर्स एग्रीकल्चर फार्मिंग एंड वेरियस अदर प्लेसेज लॉट ऑफ माई गुजराती फ्रेंड्स आर स्टक इन द फर्स्ट फोर प्लेसेज ह्यूमन ट्राफिकिंग इज अ हंड्रेड एंड 50 billion dollar industry 150 billion dollar industry in the world right it is next to drugs many people are not aware the risk factor is very thin the profit margins are very thick even today out of 10 9 do not get prosecuted i just want to share with my audience you know that when you save one victim you save one survivor but when you prosecute one perpetrator you are saving hundreds of victims so we need to focus on the perpetrators and i want to educate my people back in gujarat and worldwide or in india basically you know do not come to the united states of america illegally if you come illegally it is narg or it is hell but if you come legally it is swarg or you know it is heaven but i also went legally right so i create i tell them the problems the solution and the resources so this is a very long journey it's just a tip of the iceberg i was not talking for 10 years right so lot of things has transpired
मेरे को रियलाइज हो रहा था धीरे धीरे कुछ गड़बड़ है और हमको क्या डरा के रखा था दैट अमेरिकन डू नॉट लाइक ब्राउन स्किन गाइज और यहाँ पे रेस्टोरेंट में अंडर कवर यू एस सी आई एस लाइक यू नो एफ बी आई लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसी आती रहती है ये इलीगल बंदे को ढूंढने के लिए इन इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट ऑफ अमेरिका अगर आप इमिग्रेंट हो फॉरिन नेशनल हो और अगर आप शिकार है ऑफ लेबर ट्राफिकिंग यू हैव ओनली वन निक नेम यू नो दे कॉल यू इलीगल सो माई ट्राफिकर इज ऑलवेज कॉल मी इलीगल इज टू स्नैप इज फिंगर लाइक दिस ए इलीगल कम यर सो वॉट हैपन्स इन योर माइंड बॉडी एंड सोल यू थिंक यूर अ क्रिमिनल एंड देन यू गो थ्रू ट्रामा I'll just give one example, you know, like to discipline me, to break me down. My trafficker slapped my four-year-old son, a full-fledged jhapad, in front of my own eyes. For what? Did he do anything wrong? No. To teach me a lesson, so that I listen to him. It's an emotional blackmail. My son cried. There are five fingers on his cheeks. So he cried for 180 seconds. But I always tell, till I go to the graveyard, I cannot forgive myself. I am a sinner. I was appointed by President Barack Obama at the White House, and there was a press conference. and one of the press reporters asked me herald tell me something about yourself so i tell three things i said i'm a common man i'm a failure and i'm a sinner they'll provide provide accommodation rena khana pina udhari woh premises ke andar no so it will be just 50 meters away uske piche karan hai reason hai that labor is available 24 hours number 2 you cannot say it is snowing or there is a storm i cannot come next door you are just walking distance and number 3 they will not give any salary because lodging boarding is taken care so this is all planned you know so this is how you get trapped we were staying in an one bedroom apartment which was just like 50 meters away from the restaurant so we used to work 16 hours a day 7 days a week 365 days so it's not a joke you know it looks very like unrealistic but this is practical i've gone through so today i've become like my skin is become bulletproof you know i don't care i'm like i bet if any traveler comes i'm not worried Okay, I have gone through all the phases in life, but I want to give a small example. Within few weeks, we were working 16 hours a day. So it was night, two o'clock. That my wife and myself we were going back home, and my two sons, you know, they were waiting for us. We lived as a joint family here in India, and my younger son and both older son were waiting. So I was so excited that I opened the door, you know, to meet my kids. My younger son was sleeping next to the door with his head. I hit the door so hard on his head. that even today it triggers me and my younger, older son was sleeping 6 feet away on the floor in just in the undergarments so we used to sleep on the floor there was no microwave in the house so there is lot of things that has happened so always i want to tell people that whenever you see a victim of labor trafficking sexual abuse or lgbtq also we need to always support them they not tell the story they might be smiling or they might be just walking but it is too in depth and many times a victim or a survivor commits suicide See, I didn't know anything. What happens when you are in that type of situation? Your mind does not work, especially when you got wife and kids, right? And that is how they operate. So my wife used to break down every day, and that is to break me down. And I could not do anything, and I was in a very helpless, hopeless, useless situation. But then, as time passed, see, I'll tell you one thing: how they trap you in the cobweb, like a spider's cobweb, you know, like quicksand. Ke andar, in ka pura ek planning hota hai. In the year, in the month of August, two thousand three. मेरा ट्राफिक मेरे बोलता है यू टू टेक अ बैंक लोन तो मैंने बोला मेरे को बैंक लोन नहीं चाहिए मेरे को मेरा पगार चाहिए बोलते नहीं नहीं तेरे को मेरे को घर खरीदने का है यू टू बिल्ड अ क्रेडिट आई डी नो वट इज अ क्रेडिट स्कोर मैं बीस साल पहले की बात कर रहा हूँ राइट और अमेरिका में बोलते नहीं यू टू बिल्ड अ क्रेडिट स्कोर तो मेरे पास कोई चॉइस नहीं था आई वॉज कंपेल्ड आई वॉज फोर्स्ड यू टुक मी टू अ बैंक बैंक में लेकर गया मैं बैंक मैनेजर के कैबिन में बैठा पाँच मिनट के अंदर मेरे नाम का एक चेक है और फाइव फिगर्स और मेरे को कुछ पता नहीं तो चेक लेकर गया वो गाड़ी में बिठा एंड बाय द वे ऑल ट्राफिकर्स ऑफ परपटेटर्स आर मल्टाई मिलियनर्स दे हैव टू पर्सनालिटीज तो मेरा जो ट्राफिकर था ही इज अ मल्टाई मिलियनर स्टेज इन अ मल्टाई मिलियन डॉलर हाउस एंड इज टेक्स मी टू इज बार रूम पुट्स अ स्कॉच इन अ शॉर्ट ग्लास एंड टेल्स मी हैड चेयर्स लेट सेलिब्रेट यूर अ रिच मैन एंड बाय द टाइम आई पुट द स्कॉच इट वॉज लेट आफ्टर नोन एंड बाय द टाइम द स्कॉच वुड रीच माई स्टमक ही रिमूव द चिट फ्रॉम इज पॉकेट एंड टेल्स मी हैरल्ड यू ओ मी दिस मनी and friends it was not 10000 dollars it was not 20000 dollars it was not 40000 dollars it was much more so in one second i lost four things of my life i lost my voice i lost my courage i lost my hope and i lost my freedom and before i could understand what happened he taps me on my back and he tells me come on come on let's go you owe me much more and then see that is what was a dead bondage i didn't know because i was i was just innocent i didn't know 
next day he withdrew all the money from a bank account and if there is a girl involved in labor trafficking in the united states of america or anywhere on, in the world sex trafficking is involved people have to understand but nobody will talk or nobody will share because you know it's a stigma it's a shame that's why i support you in girls of sex trafficking no girl gets raped out of choice so what is her mistake but here they say it's a stigma are samaj su kaise are duniya su kaise are wo ka duniya ke bhad ma mara de chhokra log ne thayu ye mara wife ne thayu and i want to support other people we need to educate our people i was very resilient that i wanted to fight मैं और एक एग्जांपल देता हूँ दिसंबर आया दिसंबर में उधर स्नो गिरता हमने तो जिंदगी में इधर स्नो देखा ही नहीं राइट तो स्नो गिरा तो हमारे को स्कूल टीचर से नोट आता है कि बोथ माय सन्स कैन नॉट कम टू स्कूल इफ दे डू नॉट वेयर स्नो जैकेट्स बट मेरा जो शेफ था उसने खरीद के लाया स्नो जैकेट सो दीज आर रेड फ्लैग्स इन द स्कूल वेर दे कैन आइडेंटिफाई विक्टिम्स ऑफ लेबर ट्राफिकिंग नेक्स्ट डे स्कूल टीचर ने नोट भेजा दैट बोथ माई सन्स कैन नॉट कम टू स्कूल इफ दे डू नॉट वेयर स्नो ग्लाउज सो दीज आर सम स्मॉल tips you know that people don't i would try to create red flags so that whenever somebody is watching samaj log apne jo community members hai you know they they will become red alert at one time i failed on four p's i failed as a parent i failed as a provider i failed as a protector and i failed as a person i turned obstacles into opportunities i flipped the script of my life i flipped those four p's into passion purpose power and prayers He had fixed my wife's salary two thousand dollars a month. I didn't pay her a dime, so my wife could not take it. So she confronted my trafficker in the kitchen in the morning, you know, and said that why don't you pay me my back wages? So you know what he says, you know, you are illegal. You are not supposed to work here. Who told you to work? I can call the immigration department right now and get you arrested, handcuffed, jailed, and deported. But my chef he heard it, and he was in a similar situation in some other state, and he told me, Harold. you are done you, you will die your wife will die your two sons will die you need to get out from here and that is how i went and filed a case with the us department of labor i didn't know anything that it was a case of like and the department of labor thought it is a case of back wages that time there was no education that it is a case of human labor trafficking i also didn't know and you will not believe that in the united states of america there were six states in 2003 where there was no law on human trafficking and ohio was one of the states but i always tell everyone has the power to change you cannot just leave the everything to like our prime minister narendra modi or anybody else we also as a community members have the right and responsibilities so i fought so in 2012 the governor of ohio passed a law so now it's a felony you know so i said oh, come on this is not right you say freedom of speech freedom of right it's not right i create awareness on human trafficking i am an ambassador for youth for human rights at the united nations right so many people in, do not know that there are 30 articles created by united nations it's for every every individual who's there born like article 4 says no slavery article 5 says you know no, no torture so people are to be aware that these articles are applicable to each and every individuals who, who are born on this planet like article 1 says we are all born free and equal and i myself didn't know so i always tell that every child who is born should be taught in the school or in colleges like we teach a b c d or 1 2 3 4 they should be taught this 30 article so that empowers them you know whether it is a boy or a girl we have to teach them i was not talking for 10 years you know my wife was the only talking i had to always break down and when my case was with the fbi they got a leading <laughs> tv news channel to my house and they said that you know and uh, we need your story should be out in the public and for me it was like a stigma it was a shame i had not come out of my trauma then they sent me for counseling <laughs> and then later on they came they shot you know and then what i thought i am from india right and i samajh chuke se mari izzat gayi but then it was a blessing in disguise when it came in the tv news it was a blessing in disguise people started like talking hug came to hug me in the parish in the community oh my god harold and now we know why you are not talking then i started talking slowly it was a slow process so, so two victims whom i know died you know one one is from uh, you know so 
whom I know, I don't do name the countries one was from India or some other, with whom I worked and their death has gone unnoticed. I can still hear the cry on the phone and I just couldn't do anything. And he was helpless, I was useless, I just didn't know how to guide him. So then it was a God's call that, you know, Harold, you got to be the voice for the voiceless victim. So today my passion is to be the voice for the voiceless victims and that is what I am doing. It is not about my story, it is about the other people who are vulnerable, victims, survivors. I want them to fight. I want them to motivate them, you know, encourage them, enlighten them, educate them. That come on, there is a better world. You made a mistake or mistakes happen to you, but you got the right to live. There is a kawat in Gujarat, you know, Surat no Jaman ne Kashi no Maran. You will not believe, my trafficker hired a guy to kill me, shoot me. You see in pictures, right? Yeah, so this is a long story to kidnap my kids. It's, you think I have gone through like this? I was hospitalized, they put 8 units of blood, I was done. Doctor said, you are finished. But you know, I always tell, everyone gets a visa for 36,000 days. Whether it is Narendra Modi, Harold D'Souza, Amitabh Bachchan, Sachin Tendulkar, President Barack Obama, you name anyone on this planet. 36,000 days is 100 years. 100 years I am not going to live. So what happened? Earlier I used to run. Now I am, I flipped. I said, come, kill me. Because then my trafficker is not going to live. Nobody lives more than 100 years. So the fear of death is gone from my mind, body and soul. So I want to see what I can give back to the community. And that's how I started my non-profit organization called Eyes Open International. And I started talking. I started doing presentations and people were very excited. So I did a couple of presentations in Washington, D.C. So somebody might have recommended my name at the White House. I don't know. So it happened in February of 2015. I started getting calls. And I just didn't know. Well, the way I've been nominated, we would like to appoint you on the United States Advisory Council on Human Trafficking at the White House. But I had nothing. It was all, and it went on for eight, nine months. And then on December 16th, in the evening, I get a call from the White House. You know, congratulations, Harold. President Barack Obama has announced your name. You know, now you can go and in, inform everyone that, you know, that you have been appointed. I didn't say, I was working. I, the call might be for one minute. And I was working second shift. So I go home at night, 11, like 12 o'clock. I took a shower, I was having dinner. I just I was going to bed, I just checked my phone on WhatsApp. There are hundreds of messages. And Obama announced in the morning. It was evening in India and in different countries. And it was when I reached night, it was in the, all the newspapers. Because I was the only Asian appointed. There were 11 survivors appointed by President Barack Obama. And President Barack Obama was the first president in the history of America where he started an advisory council on human trafficking. And I was fortunate to be to be to represent the survivors and victims, especially of my friends back in India. On, and in January 5th, I was inside the White House. And then they inspired me to start my non-profit, you know, Eyes Open International. And then in August, I started my non-profit organization called Eyes Open International, registered under 501c3. I didn't know, so it all happened. I always said teamwork makes the dream work. खास करके हमारे जो मेरे मित्र है भारत में खास करके गुजरात में नॉर्थ इंडिया में उनको इतना क्रेज है यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका जाने के लिए कनाडा विच इज गुड मैं ऐसा नहीं बोलता कि कंट्री खराब है कंट्री बहुत अच्छा है बट इलीगली मत आओ एजेंट को पैसा देके मत आओ जैसा आप मैं बोल रहा हूं अभी कनाडा में लास्ट ईयर एक पूरा फैमिली यू नो दे ड्राउंड और दे फ्रोज टू डेथ हस्बैंड वाइफ एंड टू किड्स और ये साल में भी हुआ तो ये तो मीडिया में आया पुणे से कितने सारे फैमिलीज है जो मर गए तो इसलिए मैं मेरे काफ़ी काफ़ी मित्रों को बोलता हूँ आप लोग यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका अगर कुछ कोई कुछ बोल रहा है आपको कोई इनविटेशन भी मिल रहा है हम लोग को कांटेक्ट करो आईज ओपन इंटरनेशनल इसलिए हम लोग ने संस्था खोला है तो नोट दिस नंबर दैट्स वन एट 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 थ्री सेवन थ्री सेवन एट 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 दैट इज़ द नेशनल ह्यूमन ट्राफिकिंग हॉटलाइन नंबर और ये लोग क्या करते हैं दे विल हेल्प यू अगर आप एक शिकार है ऑफ लेबर ट्राफिकिंग काफ़ी लोग को पता नहीं है दैट द गवर्नमेंट of the united states there are resources like something called continued presence status it's a status it's not a visa aapke paas passport nahi hai aapke paas visa nahi hai work permit nahi hai kuch bhi nahi hai america ke andar lekin aap ek shikar ban gaye manav tashkari ke or of slavery but law enforcement agency ko pata pad gaya and they are convinced they will issue on the spot a continued presence status that will change your life you can't do two things you cannot vote and you cannot leave the country but you get four things for any common man to survive in the united states of america you need four things you need a state id you need a work permit 
you need a social security card and you need freedom so with cp continued presence you get that and once you get the continued presence you are entitled for a u visa or a t visa and then a permanent residency card and then us citizenship me itna chaati toke kyu bolta hu because i went through that channel my fbi agent gave me the continued presence status and i went through all this channel so that is very important and if you are in canada so the national human trafficking hotline number of canada is 18339001010 so there are resources available so just don't go because you are like paying 80 lakhs or 1 crore but you don't know that you are paying those money for your own coffin for your own death for your family why are you doing that for your own kids if you are 4 years old 11 years old uska kya guna maa baap ja rahe kisne aap sab haqeeqat batata hi nahi hai main aapko haqeeqat bol raha hu america mein agar aap doctor ho lawyer ho millionaire ho gaadi khud chalana padta hai laundry khud karna padta hai vacuuming khud karna padta hai koi aapko kaam wali nahi milegi You know, it's a fact. कोई बोलता ही नहीं है वो लोग से बोलते हो मेरे पास गाड़ी है वो तो वो लोग फोटोग्राफ देखते हैं लेकिन सच कोई बयान नहीं करते तो काफ़ी लोग मिस गाइड करते हैं ये लोग जाते हैं नो नाइन मंथ्स लगता है कभी एक साल लगता है पहुँचने के लिए अभी मैं एक बंदे को मिला वॉशिंगटन डी सी में राइट वो बॉर्डर से आया प्लेन से राइट कुछ नहीं फिर मैक्सिको आया गौतीमाला आया फिर वहाँ से जंगल से चल के आना पड़ता है कभी कभी तीन महीना लगता है नहीं तो कभी कभी सात महीना लगता है उसमें से दस जन में से खाली एक ही जन पहुंचता है अमेरिका और क्या करता है खाना लेके जाता है खाना कब खत्म होता है दे ईट ग्रास एंड लीव्स व्हेन दे रन आउट ऑफ वाटर हकीकत सुन लो दे ड्रिंक देर ओन यूरिन आई स्टेड विद देम आई लिड विद देम आई नो इट सो दैट्स व्हाई आई ट्राई टू क्रिएट अवेयर प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्योर सो वेन यू नो इट यू हैट अवर मनी और कॉन्टेक्ट अस कॉन्टेक्ट सम पीपल फ्रेंड्स जस्ट डोंट रश कैनेडा यूर और अमेरिका आप इधर ही अच्छे हो अदर्स कम लीगली कम ऑन एन एफ वन वीजा कम ऑन ए बी वन बी टू वीजा इफ यू एन इफ यूर इन इंडिया ऑल एस टेल यू नो लाइक कॉन्टैक्ट वी हैव अ रीजनल डायरेक्टर हृदय रावल इज बेस्ड इन अहमदाबाद यू नो एंड हिज नंबर इज सेवन नाइन नाइन जीरो टू सिक्स टू सिक्स थ्री टू सो वी ऑपरेट दिस नंबर इज अ हॉटलाइन नंबर एंड वी हैव रेस्क्यूड और हेल्प लॉट ऑफ पीपल इन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज काफी लोग को हम लोग ने फ्रीडम दिया getting the visa is ultimate freedom and then i don't i don't know how to express because i am mere kitne mitro udhar hai that they don't have they don't have a visa i know how it feels kitne jan wapas nahi aaye unke maa baap ko nahi dega unke they not seen their wife people get into contract marriage aur ek cheez main unko bolta contract marriage mein to attack jata hai kitne mera ek dost hai he lost 46000 dollars kitne jan visit visa pe jate hai aur bolte hai baad mein log ko motel mein kaam karate hai main to restaurant mein bolta hai ruk ja main tera green card kara dunga kyunki udhar labor bahut expensive hai तो मैं उनको बोलता हूँ यार मत रुको जाओ वापस बंदे के अटक जाते हैं बोलते कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मैरिज कर देंगे तो उधर अगेन व्हाट हैपेंस डेड बॉन्डेज फिर वो लोग उधर ही अटकते हैं बाहर ही नहीं आते एंड बाद में बोलता है मेरा मेरा सबको लगा मैं अमेरिका मेरा सभी समाज क्या बोलेगा यू नो सो आई ट्राइंग टू ब्रेक दैट आइस यू नो दैट ओके आट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इन माई ओन कम्युनिटी हेयर तो ठीक है गलती हो जाती है समाज क्या है यार वे डू हेल्प हम लोग हमारे भाई बंधु का होकर हम लोग हेल्प नहीं करेंगे अगर हम लोग का अगर भाई है बहन है अगर हम लोग का एक कोई हस्बैंड है वाइफ अटक गया तो ठीक है हो गया गलती यार तो ऐसा थोड़ी लाइफ खत्म नो लाइफ अभी स्टार्ट होती है आई ऑलवेज से फेलियर इज द पाथ टू सक्सेस यू नो अभी बॉलीवुड इज डूइंग अ बायोपिक ऑन मी दिस इज अगेन अ ब्लेसिंग आई नेवर आई नेवर ड्रेम्ड राइट सो आई थिंक ह्यूमन्स ऑफ बॉम्बे डिड एन आर्टिकल ऑन मी कपल ऑफ इयर्स बैक इट वेंट वायरल सो इट वॉज अ इंडियन पब्लिक डिमांड दैट there should be a biopic and then everybody co- contact me all leading producer directors uh, that time i was in the us and they i am pe pehla so je maza gaya it's a prank to bolte nahi the aapko we have to make a film then i came oh, it's they were very serious and then like uh, i said shoot and then i didn't know abc of film industry like how it works and they said they don't they do a biopic of my journey from india or gujarat to the white house so i said okay then eventually i signed the life right agreement so i'm not in a position or i'm not entitled to talk but the producer directors will share at the appropriate time so somebody is going to do my role a professional actor and best part is that everyone has agreed so they are quite inspired so and i have told that when anyone sees this movie they'll walk out with lot of motivation you know inspiration that you know there is a better life but not to quit whether you are in pandemic you got ill health unemployment poverty or a victim of any crime that's fine you can start a new life and you know all is tell of my journey whenever i do presentation all over the world i tell to people to take four things from my journey 
बी हैप्पी थिंक पॉजिटिव नेवर क्विट एंड बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ मेरा ट्राफिकर मेरे कॉलेज बोलता था तेरा तो कुछ नहीं होगा यू आर फिनिश्ड यू नो इट्स इम्पॉसिबल आई हैव ग्रीस्ड द पाम्स of the us department of labor law enforcement agency you will go to prison nothing can happen i never told him but today i tell in public i always tell in my mind body and soul for traffickers to tell the victim it is impossible okay but for me for harold disuza it is i am possible you know so you can't you cannot put a full stop so i always tell that desire changes nothing decision changes something but determination changes everything Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.